Hey guys, Panda back with you. Welcome back to the channel. Another episode of the road tour. And we're cruising on down the road and I came across this little area right here. I can actually walk on it without getting kicked out. It looks like uh, someone's creating different objects here. Ooh, it's got stuff pops in there. Level of detail is definitely something to be admired from a distance, but close up everything looks pretty cool. We got some items for sale here. We have a well for 49 lindens. Land impact of three. Not too bad. We got a lot of animals here. Oh, we have a horse. You can put a horse in here. Horse drawn carriage. That's actually really cool looking. Got a windmill. Got a TP shack here. And what's this? Oh, we got the hangman's noose. Got the gallows. Oh, let's see what we can. Oh, guilty. Oh, what? I'm guilty. Should we see what happens? Oh, man. Panda was hung, is hung. <laughs> Jeez. That's why I love coming and checking these places out. You just never know what you're going to find. I'm going to turn that back on. Walk around like I have a stick in my ass. A lot of animals going on here. It's kind of a multi purpose type of place. Boats, tractors. Still, it's pretty cool. Good sized place though. Man, let's see what else we got going on here. Let's go check out this uh Oh it's a, yeah, I see the cabin itself. Fourteen prim. Three hundred linden. Kind of what we got going on here. Decent uh, space. It's kind of what I like too. You guys ever get some of those houses that have some of the most ridiculously small bedrooms or rooms? I, I understand small rooms, you know, just like for the aesthetic of the house. You know, like you want to make it look as if you have a laundry room but don't you want to have some headroom well what's what is this pillory oh. here let's see if I oh not enough room I can't sit there lots of horses here for you animal enthusiast got some bushes Stacks of boxes. You know, all sorts of different things here. It's an old sawmill. Must be some flowers. Take it, yeah, flowers. Kind of a flower and tree set. Different autumn trees. I'm going to assume that we extend clear over here into this area too. Yeah, this is why uh, you come out and explore. You know, you find so many different uh, people with creativity and stuff that they do. You know, you may have a sim that's kind of fashioned after this aesthetic, right? Got some dinosaurs. Look at this. That's some pretty good detail, and they hold their detail too. You know, when you zoom out. Yeah, look at this. That's pretty cool. Oh man, I like that. I like the hands coming out of the ground. That's pretty cool. What's what is this?
army tip display. You know, I've looked for a uh, a good army type of tent. This thing looks pretty cool. Let's see here, we got lights. I think it all comes as one unit. Yeah, it looks like it does. Here, let's go on inside. Ooh. Well, what happened? I don't think that was supposed to happen. Yeah, need to do a little bit of work on that. I mean, outside looks pretty good. Let's see what else we got going on here. This actually opened up into another area. Whoa, this is. Oh man, look at this. Like a. Kind of like a a town square or something like that. Like you'd have what like little shops down here, apartments above. Kind of fashioned, uh, I don't know, kind of reminds me of a European style. That's pretty cool. I like that gazebo. Ooh. That's actually pretty well done. Kind of like a a marketplace bazaar. This thing doesn't say no. It doesn't say for sale. It's kind of a nice, nice gazebo. I have to say it has some good uh, texture work done to it. I love the rails, the wood grains that were utilized, the textures on those. That looks really nice. Yeah, little uh, shops down here. Shops and. Like I said, upstairs you probably have your uh, like like little living apartments, quarters, something like that. I don't know. Let's come on up here and see what we got. Okay, yeah, we're back here by the dinosaurs. Man, this place is huge. Holy moly! Kind of like a. A tiki hut type of style going on here. Oh, with a big carpet. You can put a huge multi-use carpet. You know, like if you're going to have like big parties with a lot of people, you want everyone to have room to sit and do whatever they're going to be doing. That's the thing you want to get. Yeah, this is probably feed or something, something for animals. Man, oh man, yeah, this is something else. What is that? Got some dance balls, too. You know, I totally got myself lost in here. Like, for real. Totally missed this big store over here. Oh, wait, we're back on the road. <laughs> this place extends just crazily. Yeah. So we'll kind of wrap up this episode of the Road Tour, guys. And obviously, we got a lot more to check out and see over here. I'm trying to find my bearings again. Oh, okay, yeah, we know where we were at. I think it's all I think it's all the same place, but La Caz. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. La Caz Village. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We got a lot of stuff here. So we got more to check out. Hopefully next time I don't get lost. My gosh. <laughs> Anyways, guys, yeah, I hope you keep safe and doing well. Panda certainly uh, trying to do the same, so I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Road Tour. Peace out.